There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another random DOS game show. And this is Shuffle Puck Cafe. Press A key. Okay. By Christopher Gross. And we have some PC speaker going on here. So, we have some more PC speaker and a bunch of very suspect looking individuals. And you'll see as we hover over them, they have various expressions and so on and so forth. So what happens if we click on one? Hey, look at that. So this is Skip and we are the visitor to the Shuffle Puck Cafe. And for those who don't know what Shuffle Puck is, it's like air hockey. You have to hit the puck here at the end and uh, prevent your opponent from hitting it back whilst also staying within this grid and uh, let's let's get going and see what happens shall we this is going to be disastrous right now he has sent one back and you can see he's i mean if this is how it's gonna go then uh, let's really mess with him oh oh no oh it messed up there <laughs> Eh. Oh, good return. So he's playing nice and slow and safe, while I'm playing dangerous. Oh. Yeah, I'm not very good at this. Hooray! Just as I said that. And once you get to the end, yep, it shatters the glass. He gets to serve now. And uh, yeah, the uh, straight down the middle technique. I mean, it's it's quite the uh, quite the tactic. I'm not sure it worked though. So I have a story about this one because I've played this before, as you can probably tell. Oh, but I need to stay concentrated. Yes, there we go. Um, way back in the uh, early '90s, I believe it was, I uh, used to go visit my uncle. And he had an old Apple uh, laptop. And on that old lap Apple laptop, there were two games. One of them, well, two games that we played. One of them was called Rescue, which was a Star Trek game. A very good one, which uh, is underrated. Uh, unofficial Star Trek game. And the other was this. And uh, his Apple was monochromatic. There was no color, there was uh, no sound even, I don't think, in his version. And we used to sit and play Shuffle Puck Cafe against the computer. And it is essentially Pong, you know? It's just from a different perspective. Oh, that's not a bad serve for a beginner. And yeah, it it's very simple, you know? Anybody can pick this up and play it. Let's see if I could just just serve that back to you. Yeah. Oh, that <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have started with skip. But yeah, one of the one of the things I always enjoyed about uh eh. Oh good good response from Skip. Look at look at his wee puck like uh shaking Oh no! Disaster Ah and that was always a mark of shame against you if you actually let Skip score against you. Uh, yeah. Screw you, Skip! Yeah, we always used to uh, enjoy playing against Skip uh, because Skip, as you can see, is absolutely awful. And we just smashed the puck past him. So that's, uh, what, 5-1? It's, it's sort of like a tennis thing, I think. The scoring system similar, but with uh, that hockey aesthetic. Oh, now how on earth did you manage to? And that's the thing with the AI of Shuffle Puck Cafe. Oh, sometimes you'll hit a straightforward shot, and I'll be like, I don't know how to see that, and then you'll do a multi bouncing uh, shot, and it'll just be, yeah, no problem. 
I can handle that. So let's let's try something a bit more basic. <laughs> yes. So the onus is on you to find the best way for each AI uh, to be exploited. And in Skip's case, it's simple shots. If you do super complex shots, he seems to do okay against them. Let's try a more complex one. Oh, okay, I stand corrected. That In that case, it was a super complex serve and he just uh, wasn't able to do anything about it. Come on, Skip. Uh, yeah, let's just get a little rally going, shall we? But yeah, oh, apparently not. It was, it was such a simple game, but uh, any one of us could play it. Didn't matter what age we were. I think uh, some of them were uh, four or five years of age, and they'd play it, you know, because it's, it's a timeless thing. And I have never, ever played this game with sound or graphics. Uh, it's Sorry, I mean color graphics. So it's very strange seeing this um, as it is. Also, from a technical standpoint, I tried running this with OpenGL as opposed to the, the basic overlay. And I had some serious windowing issues with it. Look at this shot. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and... There we go. I think that'll do it. <laughs> Just smack it. If it stays within your grid like that, you have the option to like hit it again, so you can you can take a sort of steadying shot. So let's let's quickly do that here. Let's uh, right, steadying shot, and then boom! Ha! No match for me, Skip. Mister Lonnie, sir, it looks like you played this before. You're damn right, Skippy. Hehehe. <laughs> eh. Yeah. So I'll, I'll take on one of the more advanced AI, I think. It will completely wreck me. And, uh... See, how did he see that? Sometimes I think he just put his paddle in the right place at the right time. And it's not the AI at all. It's just a case of, uh, dumb luck. But yeah, the, the big issue with Shuffle Puck Cafe and me is uh, my mouse hand isn't particularly good you know at, at my age it's funny saying at my age because I'm still relatively young you know for a DOS gaming enthusiast uh, that's it so paddle blocker game so let's so hey so we've got a little top menu here so we got new game new opponent or load tournament we can change the paddle size uh, and button up, button down. Ah. Let's uh, let's have a tournament paddle, and uh, let's let's go no blocker. Uh, let let's go with a small blocker, and uh, let's pick a new opponent because skip wasn't much of a challenge. Um, who do we want? Uh, that wee hooded guy. Oh, oh no. This guy, I think, is going to be tough. So you see, we've got the new paddle there. And we've also got what's called a blocker, which essentially gets in the way of your uh, your shots. Now this guy, he looks to be strong on the defense. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh God. Look at that serve back. Did you see that? He he just... Hey, look. There's a wee guy in the cloak. I like the little animations. Right. He's going to wreck me in a minute. I wonder... Is he just serving back the exact same shots? Oh, the blocker got me that time. That's, that's, that's intriguing. Like, if I... Oh, oh, did you see that blocker? It's moving and everything. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, he's, he's going to serve the exact same thing back at me. But unfortunately, he's up against the blocker as well. So, it might hinder us, it may aid us. It's entirely random and neutral. And the size changes. Oh dear, that was poor. Oh, 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 uh oh. 
So yeah, this guy has my number, obviously, because as I said before, my mouse hand isn't that great. But you can see the difference. Oh, he just slaughtered me there. Look at that serve. So yeah, this will not last long. This will not last long at all. Let's let's try a... Now, look at the way his paddle is moving. It's all over the show there. So if I wait until it's over there. Oh no. Yes, got one. I waited until his paddle had sort of drifted into that position. And I thought, oh, I'll smash, oh, the... You see, there was nothing I could do there. My reflexes just weren't quick enough. So, uh, Nerual, I believe his name is, is gonna wreck me here. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was poor on my part. So, I wonder. So, you can control it with the keys. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the difference with the keys compared to the mouse is I'll show you the movement you see that it bounces back into place so if I move with the mouse it stays in position so it's like it's got a little sort of snap back effect look at that and I believe there's momentum as well right I'm talking too much <clears throat> oh, what a serve! Eat that, Nerual, if that is your real name. Oh, that blocker. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll leave this match, I think. And uh, I think Escape does something there. All right, there we go. So let's change. Let's let's keep the tournament paddle no blocker and I uh, no I, I don't want to I don't want to game against him again he'll, he'll just destroy me game new opponent we'll, we'll do one more uh, you the lady Beijing and it's wiped out the score difference look at the size of her paddle looks smaller than mine I might be wrong about that Basic opening. Oh, good grief, she's hitting hard. Look at the speed. Oh, she's a speed player. I'm doomed. <laughs> yep. Point to you, lady. Why do you get to serve again? Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. She has telepathic pars. Uh, not, it's telekinesis, isn't it? Telepathy is reading minds. Telekinesis is moving objects. So, uh, yeah, she can just move the paddle however. And I'm not going to get points on sort of serves with her. Uh, sorry, not serves. Uh, oh. Hey, there, I did all right. Yeah, I meant going back and forth, you know, with her. I'll be lucky to get many points. Yeah, try that. Oh, she knew. She knew exactly where it was going. So yeah, that's uh, Shuffle Puck Cafe. Uh, you know, I'm close to playing nearly 20 minutes this. Oh no, uh, yeah, okay, Bejin, we get it, we get it. You're better than me. It's all right, I, I've come to accept that. Let me win one more round. Oh no, no. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a favorite childhood game of mine and uh, I always enjoyed it. It's good for a quick laugh, you know, it's one of those games you can just drop in and enjoy and uh, make a fool of yourself on like I did. And it's got timeless gameplay and a really nice sort of uh, aesthetic to it. The designers did well to differentiate between, say, standard air hockey or pong and make something with a little bit of character, a little bit of mystique to it. And I really enjoy are the different AI are programmed. So no one game is exactly the same. And you have any number of modifiers and you have RNG as well. Like one minute, the computer could be getting completely trounced by you and then the next, it'll just come up with this amazing serve or series of defenses or, you know, you're just like hopeless to deal with. 
and it makes it fresh because you never know quite what you're expecting with Shufflepuck Cafe. I'm really happy this randomly came up because it brought back a lot of memories and despite having played a lot of DOS games in my time, only every so often I'll come across one and I'll be like, oh yeah, I played this in the past. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, I do it all the time. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, you can always subscribe. And if you can beat the hardest AI in a game of shuffle puck, you're probably one of my quick-witted and quicker reflexive patrons who could undoubtedly serve their way to victory. So yeah, really enjoyed revisiting this, and I urge you to do so. It's a good wee game. Until next time.